What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the grid. You guys, my name is Grid and today we're going to be taking care of the Death Star Sith Galactic Challenge. We're going to be using Separatists to knock out the Sith. Um, honestly guys, this one's actually really easy. I'm just going to kind of breeze through it because uh, it's, yeah, it's actually thankfully it's, it's kind of an easy week for us. Um, so real quick modifiers here you guys. We have the Volatile Energies for the Global Modifier. Honestly, I didn't even use this, but it's you know nice to keep in your back pocket. Basically whenever any unit takes a turn, um, 5% energy goes towards this volatile energy when it reaches 100%, somebody can use it to instantly defeat someone. So that's cool. Um, your modifier is malicious minions, summon separate allies while plus 50% speed, max health, max protection, and damage they de deal is increased by 50. That's pretty dope. If there's uh, an ally leader in the, uh, or separatist uh, in the leader slot, and no summon is present, so we're not going to be using like GBA, for example. Summon a sniper droid to the uh, ally slot, and the sniper droid will be beneficial. We will be taking full advantage of that enemy. Um, they gain, uh, whenever a Sith is defeated, all Separatist allies will gain 50% max health and offense stacking. Um, but they also gain 50% termine and recover 50% health. Um, so they do kind of go, uh, they, they can go kind of crazy. So we're going to take advantage to basically kind of kill everybody in one go. Um, so that they're not taking, uh, they're not really getting a whole lot of benefit um, from their modifier. Um, now for the feats, you guys complete the battle um, after attacking out of turn 20 times or more. Complete the battle after droid allies deal uh, 1.5 million or more damage and complete the battle with a full team of separatist units. Now this one honestly is pretty straightforward, you guys. You can do a, uh, a pretty basic just general grievous um, separatist lineup. So we're going to do GG, Decca. Uh, B1, B2, and uh, Magna. Um, and this is about it. So you can see I do have a Relic Grievous, Relic Deca, Relic B1, and then a Gear 12 B2, and even a Gear 12 Magna. Grievous, um, modded for health, so we got 140,000 health on him. Um, triple health set with all health primaries, even on the arrow. Um, Deca is modded for offense, um, so we got the offense primaries, um, even on the arrow, nice and slow. Decent amount of offense on him. B1 speed and potency, 280 speed, 130% um, potency. We have a uh, potency cross on him, um, offense uh, triangle. Um, and then on B, or sorry, on uh, Magna Guard, just make it nice and tanky, nice and thick. So some health, some tenacity, doesn't really matter. Just full protection on there is what I went for to give him a lot of survivability. And B2 will be maximum potency. Uh, making sure that we take full advantage of his uh, unique um, because his uh, his unique is whenever he inflicts a debuff, Separatist allies will gain 5% turn meter. So um, we're just going to jump into this battle here real quick, you guys, honestly, again. All right, so starting off, depending on who's your fastest, B1 should probably be up there. You're going to do the AoE with B1, clear the foresight. Um, B2, hopefully, will get triggered there. And now I'm going to go ahead and stun Vader. Alternatively, you can stun EP as well. Um, I've had success with both. I've traded, I, I played around with both a little bit. Um, you're not really going to go wrong with it, but I did like stunning um, Vader. But as you can see here, I then quickly went ahead and stunned EP. Anyways, those two for sure you want to get stunned um, like regardless. Um, uh, after that, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, gun down on um, Darth Revan. I don't want him hitting me with any of that fear, any of that stuff. Um, so we're going to go for uh, Darth Revan, go ahead and knock him out. Going to get hit with a little bit of fear there from Bastila. Um, we're going to, as, as you saw, I just like totally glossed over the, <laughs> that volatile energy there. Uh, but we went ahead and used it there on uh, Palpatine. Go ahead and kill Bastila, and then after Bastila, you just whittle down to the Empire Trooper. So, a pretty straightforward match, you guys. Um, there are a couple of different ways that I, I did those opening moves. Um, if B2 doesn't go, like, right away, like, if he doesn't get triggered from the evasions, um, you might want to use Sniper Droid to, uh, to stun... Um, Emperor Palpatine instead he just you want to make sure both Palpatine and Vader get stunned because they're they're the annoying ones there um, for sure uh, but all things considered you guys a pretty easy galactic challenge um, there's not a whole lot of direction I can kind of give on that one it, it went pretty straightforward and as you can see here we got all of our feats in one team 
pretty straightforward, you guys. I've had some people autoing this, so kind of an easy week for us. I did play around with trying to use some other separatists. I used my geos. It did not work for me. Um, obviously, mine are gear 12 and poo-poo, but I did try it on my alternate account with fully relict ones, and it still wasn't working super well. So um, I just decided to try with Grievous, and that was beyond easy. <laughs> Um, so you guys, I hope this one helped you out a little bit. Let me know if you have any questions down below and otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, I will catch you guys in the next one. And until then we're going off the grid.